So next I'll be showing you how to build layered FS plugins. A lot of people have requested this because it's pretty useful, because it allows you to do ROM hacking without decrypting, editing, and rebuilding ROMs. So th just that alone saves a lot of time. So the, you need a decrypted exefs.bin to um, build layered FS. So you can use 3ds Lazy. So I just put my Mario Kart 7 ROM in here. I ran 3ds Lazy, and I pasted my Zorg pads in here alongside of it, and then I hit decrypt ROM, and it gave me all of these files. So you're gonna go inside of the decrypted folder, and then you'll find exefs.bin. So I'm gonna copy this. And we're going to go to this layered FS that I'll have in the description. So then go inside of it and you're going to go to this work directory folder. Delete this file called md.txc because we don't need that. And then paste the exefs.bin in here. So now it should look like this. So you're going to run build layered FS.bat. But before you do that, you might need msvcr110d.dll. Um, installing VC redistribute, ins installing Visual C++ redistributable packages will not fix this issue. You need to download the DLL separately, and you also need Python 2.7 installed and DevKit ARM. So, I'm going to run this, and then enter the folder of the layered FS file. This is the folder that's going to be like, this is this folder that you're going to put all of your game files in. So we'll just make mine Mario Kart 7. It's best to have one. Instead of having two words, it's best to have one. And then you're just going to hit enter. And then enter an empty code to disable language emulation. So this is for like changing the language of stuff. So if you wanted to do Japanese, you could do zero. But I'm just going to... I'm just not going to put anything. So press any key to continue. So our layered FS file should be in here. So here it is. So now you can insert your 3DS's SD card into your PC. So I just did that. And I'm going to close out of this. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to need to create a folder called plugin. I already have that folder. And then you're going to need to find the game ID of the game that you want to hack. So I'm going to go up to 3dsdb.com and I'm going to search for the game. So mine is Mario Kart 7. So here's like a bunch of the stuff, demos, update 1.1, GBA. We just want the normal one and I'm USA. So my, here is my game ID. So I'm going to copy this and create a folder with the name of it. So, I already had that. You can do this with any game ID, like, let's just say, like, Super Smash Bros or something. So it has all the game IDs, so that's pretty useful. And then inside that, you're going to paste the plugin file. So, we'll just go back to LayeredFS Master, and we'll copy the plugin from the plugin folder. Oh no. Plugin. I'm just going to make a backup of this one. So there we go. So now you. Now are the folder that you made. So ours was Mario Kart 7. So I'm going to create a new folder on the root of my SD card. We're going to call it Mario Kart 7. Because it was all one word. Then inside of here is where you put your ROMFS files. So you need to emulate the structure of the ROMFS. So for example, here is what the ROMFS of Mario Kart 7 looks like. So if I wanted to use a custom track, I would have to put it inside a folder called Quarks. So let's just pretend that this is a custom track. I would have to create a new folder called Quarks and paste it in here. If I wanted, if I wanted to create one for like sound, then I have to create a folder called sound, and then sounds are stored inside of a folder called stream, and then our files would be in here. It has to be ex the exact file name, or else it will not know which like file to overwrite. So now, when you boot up NTRCFW on your 3DS, 
your screen will flash green when you start in the game. So, and then your um, RAMFS hacks will be applied. So this is good. It doesn't apply the RAMFS hacks to games unless the game ID matches the one that you put it in. So unless the CIA or .3DS ROM matches this, then it will not run the files. So yeah, that's how you build layered FS plugins.